Welcome back to Crafts Hawaii. In today's lesson, I would call it, I guess, um, it's more about showing you the EZ75 and like I told you in the other videos that this EZ75 setup right here that you see is like a base and you can do other options from this base so I'm not gonna do much throwing of the dice because this is just an explanation and options that you can do so it's more like a tutorial and um, so there's no need for me to be throwing the dice but anyways most of you seen this is the easy 75 setup and what happens is when a point gets thrown if it's a field number then you're gonna get paid for the field and you're just gonna move it up right and that would be a setup okay now what happened the other night is one of my viewers told me that he was gonna go out and play he was on his way out to go and play and he's way up on the east side and he was saying that there was very little tables or not at all that were less than $25 tables so I guess he was looking for a solution where he could play the 75 um, his strategy but because it was a $25 table um, what could he do I guess is what he was you know he didn't really ask it but he mentioned there was only like $25 tables and he wanted to play this system and you know we're here in Hawaii and <laughs> up in the East Coast it's like six hours ahead and so it was pretty late when I saw his um, comment about the situation and that he was already on his way to the casino I guess so I really didn't give it a lot of thought because you know it was late I was tired and so I just told him well why don't you just bet ten dollars more and make your field bet a twenty-five dollar bet so it cost him ten dollars more so if he hit the field this would come here and he would win twenty-five and he would be set up just like that So, anyway, I'm not trying to make any excuses or anything, but like I said, it was late, so I just tried to do a fix, a quick fix. And somebody else, one of my other viewers, um, saw his comment and saw what I told him. And he responded by, you know, and this is like, the next day when I saw the, the response from my other viewer and he's mentioned that if he all he did was put $25 over here play $10 more and made $25 what would happen if he didn't hit the field but he hit the 6 and 8 that he wouldn't have enough money because the 6 and 8 would pay him 35 and he wouldn't have enough money to split it both sides on a $25 table and after giving that some thought I thought that's right he wouldn't have enough I mean he could place one side he could even place it for 35 he could place the 9 but that wouldn't cover both the 5 and the 9 he would have to roll and hit up one of these numbers and then maybe he can place it here so that's why I wanted to show 
the option that if it's you only have a $25 table <clears throat> or another thing that I didn't really want to do is because it was already a $25 table I didn't really want to force him to put more money and more money you know this would be only be like $10 more so because of him being concerned they only had $25 tables I'm thinking well he doesn't want to really spend a lot of money so anyway like I said my viewer I guess I can mention his name is Mark he said that he could play $42 on the 6 and 8 which would pay $49 so in that case this is what would happen we would put 42 on the 6 and 8 $25 in the field okay but of course now you're looking at a hundred and nine dollars whereas if you added only ten dollars more to the easy 75 you'd only be looking at eighty five dollars but now you're looking at a hundred and nine dollars so this would be the solution if you had a bankroll big enough to support this type of bedding so in this case what would happen is if you hit the field you would win the field so you could place the five and nine and we're talking about on a quarter table and you would end up with this 25 25 42 42 and that's a pretty good solution like I said if you had the bankroll to do this now let's say you did do this what would happen is and this could be your options is that since you might say well I don't want to have that much money out there I just put it out there so that I could play this $25 table okay so anyway if we revert back to this 25 42 42 now let's say the field did not hit so $42 on a 6 and 8 pays $49 so what would happen is you would give the dealer a dollar and collect 50 okay and now that will give you enough for the five and nine so that's the option but now you're out here with a hundred and nine dollars plus twenty five dollars more because this is a hundred and nine now you gotta add twenty five dollars more So, anyway, now you're stuck out here with this much. Of course, this $25 came from the wind from the field, but you got a lot more money out here. Basically, yeah, if you don't count this because you want it in a field, you still have 109 And that's, you know, pretty much more, like $34 more than the 75 But anyway, let's say you get past all this, you have enough bankroll, you do all this. So now you set up like this because the field did come. Or the 608 came, you lost the field, you, you paid a dollar, you got $50 for the 6 and 8 or 8 because they pay 49. So you give a dollar, you get 50. So now you set up like this. So now you might feel, well, I got too much money out there, I don't want to risk that much. So what you could do is because now you already don't need this protection. To give you the fifty dollars you can take this money back now you're looking at 12 and 12 so you could take back 24 dollars and end up with 110 okay so that's one of the options that you could do now if you have a sufficient bankroll and you're thinking hey i, I don't mind making more money then from this 12 dollars or twelve dollars each total of twenty four you can take back twenty four dollars and do a press on the five and nine so you split that up now the extra money that was on the six and eight and now you have thirty five on the five and a nine so now what you're looking at is that if a five or nine should come 
you're going to give a dollar and collect 50 bucks because the five and nine pay 49 one dollar you collect 50 now right so that's another option of course you make sure you try to take back at least three times okay because if you take back three times only 35 35 35 that's only 105 and right now as you can see you got a hundred ten twenty thirty dollars and you only took back 90 so you're still in the game for 40 but then again you got to realize that you got this $25 from the field so you, st you only got 75 85 95 dollars okay so that's an option for you to do this okay or like I said you can take this back and when you take that back now you're back to being $85 because this win came from here right the amount you started with was like this correct so this is what you started with 109 but when the field hits this comes up here not putting this here yet now okay now you take $24 back and you're playing $85 then the win that you got from this comes here so even though it looks like 110 you're in the game for $85 because you're taking these back now if you're gonna put this on it was in the game for 85 now it's 95 now 105 okay so if you take back three times 35 35 and if you get lucky enough to hit the five and nine that's 50 so if you take back three times you should cover that amount of money that you're in the game for okay so that's one of the options when you're on a 25 dollar table now the other thing that you can do with the easy 75 base it is if you're not on a $25 table and you're able to play you know let's say it's a $10 table $5 table or even a $15 table you can play this the other option that I didn't show you is that if you have an easy 75 and you want to you know do something else you could place the five for fifteen dollars so 75 85 90 dollars now right but now what we're doing is we already when we're transforming this to the iron cross so now any number rolled except a seven you're going to collect and you're going to bring it up here okay now if it doesn't hit this you're going to lose but you're going to win 35 or the five if it doesn't come because it's not in the field you're going to win 15 here and you're going to go here okay now let's say the field doesn't come but a six or an eight went hit you're going to get paid 35 dollars right you're gonna get paid 35 okay so now what you can do is get change for that $25 you get change you put $15 here and you're taking back $20 profit and you got the setup as the easy 75 base and you would have got this setup Okay, so that's that's another option that you could do. Now, what you can do is you also could put this back instead of take the profit, and now you got right back to one ten inside.
Okay, so that's one of the options. Now, let's say you are on a $25 table and you can't play any less than $25, but you want to play the easy 75 way, that base. Then what you can do is you put 25 in the field because it's a $25 table. And you can still play the Iron Cross like this. Now some of you might say, well, why don't you just move this up here? And why even worry about the 70, you know, hitting the field or one of these? Well, the thing is, if I just took this up here and put it up here, and a 7 rolled, I'm going to lose all this anyway, right? If I put this in here, and a 7 rolls, I'm going to lose all this anyway. But the difference is, if a 5 rolls, you still gonna get paid because you got it here, right? So let's say you lose the field, the five rolls, you win $35, right? So now you put the quarter here, you profit $10, okay? The other way, if you had only this and no field and the seven came, you would have lost, okay? So you wouldn't make any extra money. But this way, you'll make some extra money. So now let's say the field that did come, right? So now the field hits. So the field gets paid. So now you cover your nine and you make $25, okay? The other way, if you just lay it out here like this, you win, you win $35. Right? You only win thirty-five dollars. That that's it. The other way you make more money and it's free money. So these are things that can be done. It's it's just an option, you know. It's just an option because, like I said, you can do this and lay it out like this, and yeah, you can you can win thirty-five dollars. Right, you can win $35 and so you can put it on the side but let's say a 2, a 3, a 4, a 10, a 11, a 12 rolls you're not going to collect anything over here right you're not going to collect anything so you miss that roll but if you had it like this you're going to win if you hit any of these numbers, if you hit the 2, the 3, the 4, the 10, the 11, the 12, you're going to win. And if you hit the 2 and the 12, you're going to get paid double. If you're playing at a casino that pays triple, you're going to get paid $75. So I would feel that this is a better bet. Yeah, this is a better bet. Because you're going to get paid $25. you going to move this up here, you're still going to get 25 yeah, you lost the $10 that you would have made if it was paid over here. But then, like I said, if that number came out 2, 3, 4, 10, 11, 12, you wouldn't win anything. Okay? You, you got more chances of winning by doing it like this. And that's on the $25 table. Okay, and, and it, it all depends on your bankroll. All depends on your bankroll so yeah this is the iron cross but it's just to help you set up your bets and bring you up here and make a little profit okay we could play it normal the normal way like this and no nothing here but we'd have to pay play the 42 dollars each uh, over here so we can collect in case these numbers hit and not that number not the field. So I, I just thought I, I shoot this short video um, just to give you some options and explanations as to why things um, are not played that way or are played that way you, you know um, just food for thought actually I would say just food for thought but just to let you know, like I said, that this was just the base, and you can do other other things with it, right? And after you hit here, you can also place four and ten. You can continue playing the field. 
but my main objective for you is to take back two three times if possible before you do all these other presses or extra bits make sure you take your money back first before you go to the four and the ten or before you go back in the field that's that's number one that's most important that's the number one thing you need to do to stay alive in this game because you saw my three sessions of the easy 75 and we really really had to battle back to make money I mean we made money we made about 800 900 dollars in the three sessions but if I didn't try to stay alive we probably wouldn't have made that kind of money or maybe even lost some money so anyway I know a lot of you like you know like to see the dice being thrown and action but sometimes I, I just like to um, do a tutorial where I tell you about options, I tell you why things are done a certain way, and um, hopefully my viewer Lester that was going to go and play um, last night, um, he made some money or, or at least figured out what he needed to do so he could play on the $25 table and thanks to my other viewer mark that made mention about if these numbers were getting hit that he wouldn't have enough to split to the five and nine and i always appreciate help you know just because i'm shooting the videos doesn't mean that i myself cannot learn from from other people who have questions you know you can always learn from from anybody i'm always open-minded always willing to learn always willing to listen and if I don't feel what you're trying to tell me to do is the right way to do things I will always respond to you and tell you why I wouldn't do it that way okay so for tonight this video was just to um, make you more aware of things that can be done with the $75 base the easy $75 base and if you have to play on a $25 table what the options would be for you okay that's all I wanted to do with this uh, video tonight short talk story video okay so anyway make sure you stay alive and we'll catch you around the next time thanks again for stopping by